What do you think? Oh, you, you need an overhaul. <laughs> you need you need an overhaul, bro. How you doing? What's up guys? We're about Hello. to shoot the answer real quick though. No. Yeah, Walker. What's up guys? Uh, welcome back. Thanks for coming back to another video. Today we've been exploring another good way for recovery. Uh, last time you guys watched was a yoga video. Today we'll be heading inside for massage. So let's go check that out in addition to this man. And uh, I don't know, let's watch. My name is Ellery Nixon. I'm a massage therapist certified here in California. I, my company's name is Nutribus and I'm ready to work with Josh. <laughs> Naturopathy is basically the study of natural healing. Okay. So we use different modalities, such as herbology, iridology. Iridology is the study of the eyes and looking at different body systems okay. within the body. It's not a tell-all sign. Also, we use homeopathy, which is there's 300 remedies in homeopathy, and they're all compounded and concussed using plants to yeah. cause a healing with the body. That's the belief. Well, we'll do like a testing to see if the protein is even suitable for the body. Typically, we say, is it a grass-fed protein? If it's not grass-fed, we typically stay away from it. Um, typically, not maybe everybody. Some people have better digestion and can take that type of protein, but some people, most people cannot. And that's because of cooked food. Today we're in here trying to recover, man. It's important. I would definitely say you gotta incorporate Epsom salt baths into your routine uh, two to three times a week, about 20 minutes. Make sure the water is just very, very warm. And I would do, depending how big your tub is, uh, you wanna get down, to, I mean, submerge it down to your neck fine as much as you can. But also paying attention to your magnesium, making sure you're hitting that 400 milligrams a day, which is your body is required. But if you're working out as much as you are to get this type of physique that you have, you may wanna increase. Magnesium is a relaxer. So it helps with muscle recovery and helps with breaking down. Well, I shouldn't say breaking down. It helps with relaxing the muscles so that when you're tearing it and you're eating your protein, that it continues to grow. Up. So NAC basically is a compound that is used to help clean out the cells of the body. Right now we're gonna work on the gastric medius, which is the calf, and then we'll go back. We'll go up to the hamstrings. Hamstrings are important because if the hamstring muscles are tight, they're gonna ask for the quad to do more of the work. If the quad muscles are too tight or and stronger than the hamstring, then the quad's gonna do more muscle work than the hamstring. Either way, you're gonna get a leg injury if they're not balanced. So let's say that you're doing leg curls and no stretching afterwards. And then let's say you're doing like leg extensions and your quads are getting worked out and you also stretch your quads, then your hamstrings are gonna suffer, therefore asking for more work from your quadriceps. So what we're trying to do is we wanna open up the hamstrings by breaking up the myofascia and then do some light stretching. You know, something that a lot of people don't know is that a source of your lower back pain can be directly related to hamstrings. Right from the glute, right. It'll go from the glute area and it can go right down to your hamstring. And you are right, a lot of people do not. A lot of people think the lower back pain is just like you said, isolated to the lower back and they don't, they're missing the glute. And also the TFL, and they're missing the hamstring and how they're all, this is all connected. Some people are asking questions about what do I think about stretching during the exercise? Some people think you're not supposed to stretch while working out. Uh, what do you? What's your take on that? I think you should stretch while working out. We actually see, like when we watch tennis matches, they call a trainer out when there's a leg problem or a lower back problem and the trainer starts stretching that. That tells us right there we should be uh, as warm and as limber as possible and paying attention to what our body's saying.
Oh, it's just someone want to come in to get a massage therapy. To see me once a week. Okay, sure, you're going to see me. So, because I'm feeling what I'm feeling, my thought would be, what, well, what, I already know what's next. What do you do if that were to happen? Become an upper body expert. <laughs> <laughs> As you hobbled. <laughs> oh, so you're right there too. Yeah, like, tight. Yeah. Because typically I would have his legs up here, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's so far down, but I know to go here because that's where his body is saying that's all it wants to do at the moment. But if we were to get Josh consistent, he would, it would just change his whole workout. I do feel better. Yeah. You feel better? Yeah, Good. I do. I do. That was like a 30%. Okay. Okay, so he got a sports massage. He did pretty good. Yeah. But he only did seven, no, 30%. 30%. Yeah, 30%. At one point, it did look like you were giving birth. So that was a, a next massage. I'm gonna call him Dr. Ellery because he has a doctor. He's a great person, uh, good at communication, very knowledgeable. Uh, the massage definitely worked. We're gonna see how good it worked because now I'm about to go to the gym as you guys can tell that I'm a little bit looser now uh, But yeah, we better go mess chest up that to come back and get fixed again So remember if you're training hard you need to recover just as harder uh, And I'll we're definitely gonna bring you guys more more series more information more more episodes like this for recovery uh, Some key things that you probably wouldn't know unless someone told you so glad you're here make sure you uh, like, comment, subscribe, follow everyone in the description below. You guys do me a favor, DM Alan and tell him that, uh, I don't know, he's ugly or something like that. Don't do that, please. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna, isn't he gonna get scraping? Yeah, uh, stay tuned, Alan's gonna get scraping. Not gonna happen. Alan's gonna get scraping, uh, Chris is gonna get scraping. Everyone's, cool. Everybody's gonna get scraped. Let's, let's, I, I petition for Chris. Yeah, that'd, that'd be, be dope. Good. I'll pay for this. Sweet.